Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to cut the fat off of our chicken. I'm using the tender pieces because they're easier to cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay our hand on top and we're going to start real thin pieces. I like thin pieces for chicken jerky. I'm going to just cut right along, just like that. And we're going to continue to do that. It helps that you have a very sharp knife. That way you don't have any hang-ups. And you just continue to cut your piece of chicken. Now you can use a boneless breast if you like. Okay, so I'm going to make a small batch. I used four of the chicken tenders. So I've got a quarter cup of soy sauce. I'm doing an eighth of a cup Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon of minced onion. I'm going to mix all that together. And I've just got like a little port storage bag. I'm going to put my chicken in the storage bag. And then we're just going to take our marinade, pour it in the bag, and zip it up, and then we're just going to toss it down in there until everything gets good and coated. Okay, that looks good. And now, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator overnight and let it marinate. Okay, now for the chicken jerky, I'm going to go ahead and start turning it up. I put a paper towel underneath to catch any excess liquid while I'm turning this up. It's pretty simple. You just lay it out on the tray, leaving some space in between so that it can get some good airflow and dry evenly. And I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've got it all trayed out, and I am now going to put it in my dehydrator at 155 degrees Fahrenheit or your meat setting if you have a meat setting on your dehydrator. Okay, there's the chicken jerky, and it's still pliable, and that's my chicken jerky. Thanks for watching.